Hello, you and me. I'm Shazad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and welcome in lecture number 13. Today we are going to touch another library which is a session library. So make sure this is very useful library so you can uh, use this library whenever you want to create the login systems and sign up systems and user system or admin system. You can uh, save your data in your session so that's why you can use the library session okay so how can you use that library so first of all I have to keep this functions at anywhere for suppose in this time I'm saying this is my form form validation okay this is form validation okay so now how can you use before calling or before using any library you have to load that library this is rule I am saying this load I am I am saying library and this time I am saying session <laughs> make sure we are at the home controller and index method go to your home controller refresh the page so you can see form validations on line number 35 so here is line number 35 okay okay form validation 2 okay fine because this form validation is also available okay so now it's working fine you have successfully loaded the session so first of all how can you add the value inside your session for suppose I'm saying this session now I'm saying user data in this time not set user data okay now you can add your key here for suppose ID in this time I'm saying ID is 35 okay go to your page refresh the page you can see nothing has happened because you have successfully uh, added the 35 ID at your session or in the session so how can you call your session for suppose I'm saying echo this session user data and your key here whenever you want to access any session you have to provide just a key so you, in this in this example we have just loaded the 35 inside a session so this is the key so we are accessing the session like this make sure this is user data this session user data refresh the page line number 16 okay uh, bracket missing okay so now you can see we are just echoing uh, the 35 because we have inserted the 35 value inside the key which is ID so whenever you access your ID it's automatically showing you the 35 okay so first of all you can add the session by providing key and value or you can add your session session sorry I'm saying array so I'm saying ID equals to 35 and now I'm saying name this is associative array make sure I'm I'm saying shakezy and now separate with comma and now I'm saying city in this time I'm saying Karachi okay I have to keep this associative array inside a variable so I can pass this variable I'm saying session data okay copy this bad boy and you have to pass this associative array here so this session set user data pass the associative array here 
now you can access the okay refresh the page okay you have just loaded now you can uh, access your city by adding by providing the key inside the user data so you can see it's accessing okay so how can you access all the data for suppose i am saying in this time this session all user data okay i am storing this because if you are if you can use echo it will give you the error because this is okay because you always set your uh, data in the form of array so that's why it's giving you an array so you have to use wardom wardom now refresh the page you can see it's saying it's showing you all the session data ci lost generated this is your id equals to 35 name equals to 7 and city equals to this so in this way you can add your session you can call your session and how can you destroy your session first suppose i'm saying session destroy so in this way you can destroy the session make sure you have to load the library in this method also and now i'm saying this session ses destroy okay. now i am calling this method i hope this is the method destroy okay just a second make sure this is double s okay refresh the page you can see you have just destroyed the session okay so now you have just destroyed the session now we are not setting the session now we are just displaying the session here by calling the home okay you can see nothing is here because you have just destroyed your session so in this way you can load your session you can pass the associative array by calling the set user data function that means sorry not function this is a method so you are adding the data inside your fun session here you are calling the data by calling this user data and you can also destroy the data by calling the says destroy method method okay so now this is the session in the coding writer coding writer uh, give us a special kind of session which is flash data so uh, flash data what can you do with flash data for suppose if you want to keep the informations uh, within a page for suppose in a single refresh page and then you want to destroy that session so you can use the flash data first of all just a second i'm going to give you an example uh, i'm creating another ma just a second i'm saying okay i'm calling this method okay so now you have this method you are loading the form helper first of all you are loading the view in the view you have three fields okay now open this view my form okay is your form dot view and now you are sending the data to sign up now i am just removing the method i am saying sign up to first of all sign up to now go to your method i am going to create another method sign up to whenever you want to submit this button i am going to receive all of these data here so how can you re receive if you have remembered the input i am saying this input post and i am saying 
just a second i am going to explain i am saying this is the name and uh, i am saying this is true and i am going to okay name this is password and i am saying this is confirm password okay so i am saying I am saving this in associative array first of all and this time I am saying name this is password and this is confirm password so here I am validating the form uh, how can you validate your form I am saying if this field is empty or this field is empty or this field is empty means password confirm password and also name i'm going to generate the error here otherwise here just a second i'm going to explain each and everything i'm saying fine and here i'm saying error refresh the page now hit the button you can say it's saying error that means uh, you are not sending the data uh, inside the these these fields name password and now you can use your session here how can you use first of all you are using the session inside this method so you have to load the session here session library that means session library this session oh sorry this load library I'm saying session now I am going to use a flash data for suppose I'm saying this session set flash data it takes two parameter the key and the value key I'm saying error for suppose what is the error I'm saying please check the required fields okay now I'm redirecting to this controller so how can you redirect you just have to load the URL helper this load uh, helper URL okay so now because you are calling the redirect functions so you have to load the URL helper first of all and you are using the flash data so you have to load the session library because flash data is related with the session library okay so now otherwise fine Go to your page refresh the page upload the button you can say it's saying the page not found why not found because you have to provide the controller i'm saying now refresh the page you can say it's redirecting you here you are setting the error inside the flash data so you have to use this flash data here for suppose uh, this is your form you form my form okay so now you have to use the flash data here for suppose I am saying uh, this session flash data which flash data you can pass this key here okay so now I am saying okay echo this flash data first of all you are loading because this is your mu form so here is your mu form because you are calling the session here so you have to load the session library here this load library session okay go to your page refresh the page okay working fine so now these are the empty fields hit the button you can see it's saying please check check the required fields okay so now whenever you refresh the button 
it's not appearing because you are setting the error inside of flash data and flash data only available in a single refresh so we are at the form validation method hit this button page refreshed so you can see it's working fine now if you want to refresh the page again it's disappearing because flash data only available in a single refresh okay so this is very useful uh, example if you are redirecting with your error you can use the set flash data uh, when we create our project then uh, i will more then i will further explain how can you use your flash data you can use your flash data same as which uh, i have just used so in this way you can use your sessions create your sessions flash data and you can also destroy the flash data so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover our remaining libraries so we can further move to our f helper so you can easily understand how can you use your helper so thank you for watching